If you're a professional machinist, you're probably familiar with most of the equipment in a machine shop, but it only takes a moment to lose focus, and you could find yourself facing serious or even life-threatening injuries. The most common shop injuries are caused by people running into or being struck by an object, by tripping and falling, or from lifting and carrying items improperly or that are too heavy. This video covers several best practices to help you avoid these injuries while working in a machine shop. The four best practices we'll be covering are keeping your work area clean, safe use of racks and shelving, safe lifting, personal protective equipment. First, let's start with keeping your work area clean. Keeping your work area clean helps to reduce the chances of tripping, ensures you have enough room to work safely, and that you have access to emergency facilities if an injury does occur. As you do your work, be sure to keep materials, tools, debris, and shavings off the floor. If that can't be avoided, take the time to clean up your work area on a regular basis. Ensuring your tools and materials have designated storage locations will make it easier to keep your work area clean. Be aware that things that don't get put away can easily become tripping hazards. If you have safety markings on the floor, keeping your work area clean will ensure they remain visible for you and your coworkers. Eye wash stations, first aid kits, and other emergency equipment must also be kept clean and with a clear path to access them so they can be used quickly during an emergency. In the case of eye wash stations, their ability to prevent serious and lasting eye injury from certain kinds of toxic exposure can literally be a matter of seconds. So be sure you know where the closest eye wash station is and make sure nothing is blocking your path. Electrical panels must also be kept uncluttered, accessible, and closed at all times. Cal OSHA requires a minimum of 36 inches of clearance surrounding the front and sides of all panels. If extension cords must be used, try not to lay them across walkways where they can become tripping hazards. Instead, run them along the wall or next to the machines. If this isn't possible, be sure to either tape them down or lay rubber matting across them. In addition to keeping the floors clean and clear of hazards, also be aware of hazards at eye level or above. Many injuries occur when people are struck by hanging, swinging, or falling objects. If you work in a multi-level facility, watch for objects or equipment that could be dropped accidentally by people working above you. Safe use of racks and shelving. If you need to stack materials or equipment on your racks or shelving, do your best to avoid stacking them at random. Objects that don't fit neatly together can have a tendency to fall. If equipment or materials must be stacked above shoulder height, ensure that the heaviest items are located on the bottom shelves. Lastly, due to the risk of earthquakes, any rack over 48 inches tall should be firmly attached to the wall or floor to avoid falling over. Safe lifting. Whenever you need to lift heavy objects, be mindful of their weight. Even when lifting using your legs and following proper lifting technique, you can still be injured if the object is too heavy. The best approach is to reduce the amount of manual lifting and carrying through the use of a machine aid, like carts or the overhead pulley in your shop. Many of the machine aids require the use of slings to carry the equipment or material. Don't forget to check the sling's rating to make sure the sling can support the weight of the load it is carrying. Our last practice is personal protective equipment. Be sure you learn the potential dangers that your eyes, ears, hands, and feet are exposed to and wear the appropriate personal protective equipment, or PPE, for the task you are performing. While working with machines that are ejecting any material, shavings, or debris, wear eye protection, safety glasses, goggles, or a face shield. Cal OSHA requires employees wear ear protection when working with loud machines. 85 decibels for over eight hours is the maximum sound level you should ever be exposed to. Unless they present a risk for entanglement in moving machinery, wear gloves to protect your hands from burns, lacerations, or other contact hazards. Wear the proper footwear designed to protect you from crushing, electrical shock, corrosion, punctures, 
lacerations, or other hazards. If you are unsure if your footwear is appropriate for your job or the equipment you're working with, consult your supervisor. Being mindful and following these simple safety best practices will help keep you and everyone else around you safe. For more information on general shop safety resources and other safety topics, go to the Safety and Seminar section on statefundca.com.